all right guys first of all before we continue this uh, tutorial today i want to say a very big thank you for those of you who have been following me from right from day one my channel just hit 7,000 subscribers my community my family my second family here in youtube we hit 7,000 plus okay i'm super grateful i want to say a very big thank you for you guys thank you so much for my subscribers thank you all of you i appreciate you my new subscriber and the ones that are yet to come <laughs> i want to say thank you for joining my community yeah like i did not expect it i didn't i didn't know i was doing something nice i thought maybe i wasn't doing something that you guys want so i don't even know what i was actually doing I, like sometimes i'm asking myself am i actually doing the right thing am i actually putting the right content for you so for you guys to come up to this level give me this kind of community i, I want to say a very big thank you so that aside so what we actually here for this tutorial today we are going to go back to the beginning like we're going to start afresh like starting afresh making a busy body pattern okay so you know when i started my channel i have never made any introduction i have never saying hey welcome to my channel my name is this or that i'm from that i'm from here i haven't made any a particular tutorial like a, a video like that i just started so i said that okay every time i'm going to make a dress or make a tutorial i have to start afresh drafting a pattern and that took so much time from you guys and also from me so it's okay let me take today and make a busy body block pattern so that whenever we are going to be making anything at all you just go and get your pattern and we do whatever then divert it in any style that we want to so this pattern this tutorial that we're going to do this pattern in particular i'm going to be using this pattern we're going to be using it to create a lot of garments okay when i mean by garment your dress your blouse corset bustier whatever just name it okay anything that has to do with pattern drafting this pattern is going to save us okay it's going to save us for that so and as you can see the pattern has a bust that okay so the bust that help actually eliminate any botch that is, you're going to get from this uh from your armhole part and also when you're drafting a bust here also help um, give the shape of that cup on your post okay so yeah that is what boss that actually do and there are more reasons for that also so but uh i just want to stop at this point so yeah that is what we're going to do today so if you're new to my channel you are welcome my name is chile rock and if you're my returning subscriber thank you so much for stopping by you guys are doing an amazing job for me thank you so much i appreciate you all so with that being said if you're interested you want to see how i went about it stay with me okay so with that further ado let's get into this tutorial right away all right see ya all right guys so let's get started so on the screen these are the tools that you need to create your pattern okay so i have my french cover rule here i have my marker pen here i'm going to be using the, uh, the pencil i'm going to use the marker also so i'm using the both the tools together I have my paper scissors here and uh, I have my tape rule that I'm going to use to take all my measurements, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do now is to create my starting point, which is going to become my shoulder line, okay? So after marking this line, I'm going to level it shoulder. But the line was not that bold, so I have to use a marker to make it bold enough so that you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do is to create a guideline from the center front here. This guideline is, is going to occur if your paper, the, the edges is not straight, okay? You use this, uh, this straight line here to create a, a guideline so that you can have a straight line when you are taking your vertical measurement and your horizontal measurement, okay? So after doing this now, the next thing I'm going to do is to start marking my measurement, my body measurement. First thing is my shoulder measurement. 
okay my shoulder divided by two uh, is uh, seven inches 14 divided by two is seven inches okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is to mark my bust point okay so we're going to place your tape from the tip of your shoulder to your nipple point that is where you are going to find your bust point measurement mine is 9.5 inches and i'm going to mark it here i'm going to repeat the uh, the measurement twice so that i can have a straight line connecting my creating my bust uh, point line so the next thing I'm going to do is to mark my from my shoulder, okay, from my shoulder to my waistline, okay. Find the tiniest part of your waist on your uh, body, and then you're going to mark it. I don't know if you understand this. So mine is 17 inches, okay. So you're going to place your tape from the tip of your shoulder down to the tiniest part of your waist, and then you're going to mark it, okay, just like the picture you saw on the screen. So after here, I'm going to connect this line now to create my waistline. So the next thing I need to take is my is the length of my blouse or the length of air yeah, from the tip of the shoulder down to the hip. Okay, so that is what you're going to use as your blouse length. That is a basic body blouse. Okay, length. So I just label this by shoulder, my balls, my waist, and the hip. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do now is to work on the upper part. The upper part is going to be where I need to create my chest line. To get my chest line, I'm going to divide my round bust circumference by 6. For example, bust 36 divided by 6 equals to 6 plus 1.5. That is 7.5 inches. So plus 1 inch that you minus from the shoulder slope, that is 8.5. So the chest line is going to be 8.5 inches in total okay so now let's create the armhole line so i'm going to repeat my shoulder measurement here the half of my shoulder measurement which is seven inches i'm going to mark it direct at the chest line here okay so that i can have a straight line connecting my armhole line so i'm not going to have uh, create the line complete from there to the end of the center front so i'm just going to stop here and now I'm going to connect this line now to create my armhole line. I hope you understand this. So now that I'm done marking all this line now, the next thing I'm going to be working, I'm going to work on my neck width. I'm going to be using a standard measurement, neck width of 3 inches, and the neck depth is going to also be 3 inches, okay? After marking 3 inches neck width, I'm going to mark 1 inch below here from, from this armhole line to create a shoulder slope, okay? You know our body is not straight so we have to create the slope on our shoulder okay so i'm going to connect this line now with a straight line so after that from here i'm going to create my neck depth of three inches so take your body measurement be sure of your measurement then use your measurement and follow the instruction given here okay so i'm going to use my cuff rule now to create my neckline So after creating my neckline, the next thing that I need to create my armhole line. But before I will do that, I'm going to be marking my quarter of my round bust circumference here first, okay? Quarter of my bust circumference is 8.5. My bust divided by 4 is 8.5. Bust 34 divided by 4 is 8.5 inches. I just mark it here. So I'm going to find the midpoint between this line here, okay? From this point here, I'm going to place my tape like so. I'm going to pick it up and then I will fold it, okay? I need to fold it from the part where your the line between that one inch shoulder slope that you drop to the end of the chest line, that is how you're going to place the tape. And then you can fold it like you see me doing, okay? Fold it and find out how many inches you have there. I have 6 point, uh, 3.6 inches here. So that is the midpoint between these two lines. So the... the the total line I have here is 7.25, okay? So divided by 2 is um, 3.6, okay? So from that midpoint now, I'm going to mark 0 0.5. So for you to know where the 0 0.5 inch is, from the starting point of this iron, not the 1 inch, from the starting point of this iron, between this tiny line, okay, to the first, uh, from the starting point, 
is where your 0 0.5 inch is okay that is how you're going to locate your 0 0.5 inch in, in your tape okay on your tape rather so i'm going to connect this now just like you see me doing with a straight ruler so that i can create my armhole calf okay i'm going to first of all use the straight part first before i will use the um, the the curvy part if you're very good in using your free hand if you don't have this particular uh, tools you can use your free hand to connect your armhole curve okay so now that i'm done from this part now that we are done from the upper part that we don't have anything to do for the upper part now i'm going to be marking my bust pan measurement so this is how you're going to take your bust pan measurement okay so mine is seven inches so divided by two is 3.5 inches so i'm going to uh, mark this uh, repeat this measurement all the way to to my hip line okay so that i can connect or i can create my that line so i'm going to connect this part uh, this that line with a straight uh, ruler just the way you are seeing me doing on the screen okay like i say if you don't understand my explanation you can see what i'm doing on the screen so now that i'm done i'm going to from uh, move down to my waistline here i'm going to be marking 0 0.5 inch on both sides of this straight line that that i created okay so now i'm creating my dart okay I'm taking out the dart or creating the dart line okay so i'm going to move on to the hip line okay from that hip line i'm going to mark two inches upward so that is where my dart is going to start okay and then i'm going to come up here so from this part here that is where it's going to stop moving on to the upper part here i'm going to mark one inch okay so you are not uh, as um, you're not advised to start your dart from the beginning of your bust you need to go down by one inch from your bust line okay to create your dart so right now i'm going to get my straight ruler and connect a straight connect all these points together to create my dart So I have done connecting or creating my dart. So the next thing now I'm going to start uh, marking all my horizontal measurement. Okay. So my waist divided by four is seven inches. I'm going to mark it here plus the one inch I took out from the dart. Okay. I'm going to replace my dart. Always remember to replace your dart. Okay. Don't forget to replace your dart. Remember to replace your dart. So from the chest line or from my bust line, I'm going to mark. Uh, quarter of my bust circumference which is 8.5 okay just the same thing i did to the chest line and the same thing i also marked to the bust line so move on to my hip line my hip is 40 divided by 4 is 10 i just mark it there exactly 10 so i'm going to get my french curve rule now and connect my to connect all this line together i hope you enjoy watching this video if you do please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please kindly do so and don't forget to turn on your notification bell okay so now that i'm done from this part now so the next thing now we are going to do here is to uh, add the sewing allowance okay we're going to add the sewing allowance first before we will work on the bust that okay actually i forgot not that we're supposed to be that way i actually i forgot that i was supposed to add a bust that to this pattern but i i thank god i remember on time so i'm going to move on to the up the the to the shoulder line here i'm going to add 0 0.5 inch allowance for joining okay remember to add i will advise you to add your joining allowance to your pattern when you are drafting it so that you will not forget because sometimes you can forget like me personally sometimes if i didn't add sewing allowance to my pattern when i'm drafting I will end up forgetting when i'm cutting it on the fabric okay so yes so i usually add my joining allowance first before i cut out my pattern so right now the next thing we're going to do here i'm going to come to the bust line here that is not from the not from the sewing allowance okay from the original line from the main uh, body measurement i don't know just watch and see where i'm taking my measurement 
mark two inches below okay from the boss line mark two inches below and you're going to connect it with a straight line to meet to the point here where your dart line start okay so from this part here when you see me working on here you're going to be marking 0 0.5 inch on both side to create your boss dart okay mark 0 0.5 inch on both side that is what i'm doing here so after marking the 0 0.5 inch there so the total that you took is one inch i'm going to move on to upper the, this part here okay also mark one inch down so i'm going to start connecting those 0 0.5 inch to stop where i marked that one inch below okay So now that I'm done create my all my my lines, create all the important and create this um the bust that that we needed to create. So we have done from the front pattern like completely done. We have nothing to do again. So the next now we are going to create the back pattern. Okay, guys. So here is the fresh fresh pattern. You need to have a fresh pattern, okay, to create your back pattern. So that is what I have here so i've gone ahead to done all my marking off camera so that it will not take us time so i mark uh, the line i have here is my shoulder my chest line my waistline and the hip line so the only different the only line that is not here is the bust line okay so this is the back pattern it's not um it's not a uh, front pattern so we don't need the back or we don't need the bust line here okay so the second line i did i have here is the zip allowance I have a zip allowance of two inches you need to keep two inches zip allowance so that you can use it to create your zip at the end of the day okay so that is basically what you need to do for the back pattern so next i'm going to be marking my shoulder measurement just like i did to the front the shoulder measurement of seven inches so i'm going to mark it here and the neck width also is still remain the same the neck width is three inches the only difference from the back is the neck width the neck depth is one inch so i'm going to place my tape right at the center front center back now and mark one inch below okay to create my neck uh, line so i'm going to get my french cover also use the curvy parts to create my neckline so after creating this so the next thing that i need to create my armhole line I'm going to come to my chest line here, place my tape right at the ch uh, chest line and I'm going to mark 7 inches. So this measurement now is going to help me to have a straight line to connect my armhole line. So now that I'm done connecting my armhole line, I'm going to mark 1 inch below for shoulder slope just like I did to the front uh, pattern, okay? So the next, I'm going to find the midpoint between this uh, line here, okay? Just like you see me doing, where I place my tape, okay? From the, from the front pattern, remember I have, I got the 3.6, so I just marked the 3.6 here. So to create my arm hook off, I'm still going to repeat my, mark my quarter of my boss circumference, okay? Uh, this time around, I'm not going to get uh, make a curve all the way like I did to the um, uh, to the uh, tip of the shoulder. The curve is just going to start from here. Just watch closely to see where I'm taking my curve. Okay, I'm going to connect it from here and I'm going to stop it at that midpoint where the midpoint is. That is it. Okay, that is basically the back pattern. This is the difference from the back okay so the front has it has a deep curve while the back it has a shallow curve okay so this is what you need to know so now that we're done from the upper part now i'm going to uh, start imputing my bust pan measurement like i did to the front we're going to create a dart to the back so the back pattern also has that okay so i'm marking 3.5 inches here my bust pan uh, measurement divided by two is 3.5 so i'm repeating the measurement here so that i can create my dart line okay so i'm going to get my french curve row the straight i'm going to i'm using this uh, straight part to create this straight line so now i'm going to come to my waistline okay 
from my hip line first of all from my hip line i'm going to mark two inches upward just like i did to the front okay then to my to the upper part here okay i'm going to first of all from the waistline i'm marking 0 0.5 inch on the both side just like i did to the front okay so mark a 0 0.5 inch on both side and then i'm going to connect this dot together to the chest line i'm not taking anything i'm just going to connect them direct okay from up from this part just watch and see where i'm taking my connection to okay i'm connecting it to stop at the chest line directly to the chest line okay and also connect it to meet to the hip line remember i went up from two inches to the from the hip line just like i did to the front pattern so basically this is the the back dart okay so we have created now so the next thing i will do now is to start marking my horizontal measurement my bust circumference divided by four is 8.5 i just mark it there and my waist uh, circumference is 28 divided by four is seven inches then plus the one inch i took from the dart okay so the hip is 40 divided by four is 10 inches so i just mark it there so i'm going to get my my french curve now to connect all this line together So uh, I'm going to extend this line out so that we can start working at the back pattern or creating our zip allowance, okay? So I'm going to mark 1.5 inches from this line here, okay? From the neckline here, I mark 1.5 inches. I need to extend this uh, waistline also out so that I can take a proper measurement so that I will place it at the right line, okay? So now that extend this line out from the waistline i'm going to be taking out one inch i'm going to mark one inch instead of 1.5 and the reason is because i'm that one inch that you take is going to eliminate the zipper botch okay 1.5 inch from the from the uh, neckline then to the hip line i'm marking also 1.5 inches okay remember where you are marking one inch is the waistline to help you eliminate any bulge that you're going to have on your blouse okay so now i'm going to use my straight ruler to connect this with a straight line so i'm going to level this part zip allowance and also i'm going to write at the neckline 1.5 to the waist is one inch and the hip is 1.5 okay so now I'm going to be marking one inch for my sewing allowance. Remember for the back, uh, front pattern, I use uh, one inch for the sewing allowance. Okay, so that's the same thing I'm doing here. Marking one inch for sewing allowance. And after then, I'm going to use my French curve rule to connect this line together. So to my shoulder line, I'm going to mark 0 0.5 inch for my shoulder joining just like I added to the front, so okay. So the back is ready and also here is the front. So we need now, what we need now is to start cutting out all this pattern, cutting out all the unwanted part that we don't need for our front and the back pattern to be ready, okay. So remember there is no um, sewing allowance on the armhole part. So you're going to remember to add sewing allowance. So watch carefully to see the part where i'm cutting out okay so i'm going to be adding a 0 0.5 inch from this arm over just like say, just watch carefully okay so this is what i'm, I'm talking about i added 0 0.5 inch for the arm hole part okay so uh with that being said i hope you enjoy watching this video i hope you learned something new from my channel today if you do please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and uh, help me share the video subscribe if you're yet to do so and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you will join the community and you will not miss out on any tutorial that i'm going to be dropping on this channel okay thank you so much thank you so much i really appreciate you for your support and for watching and um stay tuned have a good afternoon good morning or good evening 
wherever you are watching from okay so i'm going to level this pattern so that you can know differentiate which one is belongs to the front and the back so basically you should know because i used a white pattern for the front and then the yellow pattern for the back but still i still need to level this pattern so that you will know the difference okay so this is the back pattern and the white one is the front pattern okay so we are coming to the end of this tutorial i hope you get the time to sit down and watch this tutorial watch watch the watch the uh, tutorial and get to make your busy body pattern for yourself okay so remember that we're going to be using this pattern to create all kinds of dress with this pattern we're going to use it to create blouse dress and also well okay so thank you so much for watching i will see you on my next tutorial bye